What's up guys, it's Little Dose, welcome back to the channel, and today we're doing a review on Rubber Bandits. Rubber Bandits is a wacky multiplayer party brawler is what they are calling it. It's one through four players, you could play online, locally, or even have two people at one PC, which I think is outstanding, because a lot of games nowadays you cannot do that. But they are bringing it back and I absolutely love it. So say you have some friends over and you want them to play but you don't have two consoles. Well there you go. Say you have this game and you want to host it. You can host it online for free um, through some third party software that they offer. Smash several different highly destructible levels in classic heist themes like the bank, and the museum, and the casino. This one right here I believe is uh, the bank vault that we're in. Um, so you could fight in free for all, which is this mode, uh, right here, but they also have, um, teams like you could do 2v2. Um, they have up to 20 different weapons from rocket launchers, to swords, to this guy has a hammer. There's all kinds of weapons in this game. Um, they have like anti-gravity when you get hit is insane. You just go flying across the map. It's absolutely insane. And I love it. Um, right now it's available on steam. It's available on PS5, PS4, Xbox Series X and S, and the Xbox One. Um, as you can see here, there's a lot of different modes. Brawl, Heist, Dodge Bomb, Snack Attack, Pork Pursuit, Carnage, Bomb Panic, Team Brawl. All very cool in their own different ways. You get to select it. You can even pick random. And it picks one. Um, it's a pretty short and sweet game, straight to the point. It's one of those games where if you've had a long day, if you're tired of grinding on like an Overwatch or an Apex, you can hop on some rubber bandits and just hang out with your friends and uh, beat the hell out of each other, basically. Um, not only that, they also have an arcade mode, which is like a single player kind of campaign mode where you want to collect the loot and escape from the designated area that you're at. There's tons of customizable characters. You can change hats, skins. There's skin variations. Um, you can put on different outfits. Um, there's an armory where you can test out all your weapons. All kinds of things like that. Um, hosting is really cool. You ha have a, a code that you can get, like a lobby code, and you can give it to your friends. You can give it to your Twitch. You can give it to your YouTube community or whoever else you want to play with. And host private lobbies, you can host public lobbies, you can do all kinds of things, there's missions and tasks you can do, there's in-game currency, um, there's a whole lot of going on in this, uh, it's, it's a smaller game, but it is jam-packed, um, for five bucks, you really have nothing to lose here, um, very simple controls, very, uh, intuitive, it's easy to learn, easy to pick up, easy to play, and it's fun, um, like I said, for five bucks, there is no real downside to this game because I've picked up games that are 30 bucks, 20 bucks, 50 bucks that I'll pick up every once in a while and I just put it right back down. It's just not for me. This is a game you can have installed for a long time and just have some fun with it. Um, right now, the only issue I have seen is the servers tend to be a little laggy. It's kind of hard to find um, lobbies, um, at least right now on Steam for me. Um, it's just because I feel like the game's newer, there needs to be a little bit more traction. But I think in the coming months, um, it definitely will gain a lot of traction because it, it, it is a really fun uh, game. And I, I hope to see that they add stuff and add some new stuff um, because it's very fun. It's very fun to play. Um, it's just it's just like I said, it's a party game. It's a party game, but it it's very fun. Um, if you guys like that kind of stuff, I would re definitely recommend um, copying it. Uh, to me, if I had to rate it out of five stars, I'd probably give it about a solid four stars just because of the network issues and just kind of, it's kind of hard to find a match right now. But if you're, you don't want to play online and just host public, I mean, private games and probably five out of five, it's fun. It's cool. There's tons of things to do on it. Um, but that's pretty much it, guys. I hope to see some new content in the future from Rubber Bandits. I'm not sponsored by them in any kind of way. So um, feel free to leave your comments down below. I want to hear what you guys have to say about it. Um, but overall, I think the game's fun. I think it's good. I think it's well worth the value. And um, hopefully we'll see some new stuff in the future. But other than that, guys, peace and hope you enjoy. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe as it helps the channel out. If you want to see some more Rubber Bandits content, please let me know. I will definitely uh, make other videos in the future if you guys want to see it. Thank you.